You know, when you start, there's not a lot of education on how to do this. And so I think that's really what makes climbing photography unique is that you kind of have to figure it out for yourself and don't let the situation get you down. Just work with what you have. If you have a butt shot that day, like make it the coolest butt shot you can get. And I think I've done that pretty darn well. <laughs> feeling is being at the top of a chains with a female climber on her first sport lead, you know, 5'7", and giving her a high five at the top. That is an exhilarating feeling for me because I've been there and it's amazing to see anybody, no matter what their limit are, whether they're trying to like lead their first 5'7 climb or finish their first 514 climb to just, you know, be at that celebration at the top with that person. I think that's a very different feeling that almost nobody gets, and it's one that's hard to describe because it's so incredible. And so being up there and perhaps capturing that moment is an amazing feeling. If I can produce an image that empowers women to go out and try climbing for the first time, or to go out and do something that scares the hell out of them, but to go and do it, I think that's my message behind any woman climbing image that I put out there. And I think that's what my photography plays into, is that I find these incredible women who have careers or who have families, yet still do this incredible thing that most people think is only for a certain specific set of people. And so what I want to show is everybody who climbs, because there is a multitude of people who climbs. They have families, they have jobs, they have careers. It's not so much about just living in your van 24-7 to climb the hardest things that you can find in the world. It's about finding yourself in this powerful sport of climbing. My preferred subjects are my friends. Um, I think we're most comfortable both back and forth together. It's amazing to give a climber who just climbs for the pure joy of it, but to give them something back, to be like, oh, look, this is you. <laughs> like, here's your first lead. Like, it's, it's an amazing feeling to give a woman a solid memory of something that she just achieved. I am not a person who documents climbing photography. I am a person yelling and encouraging the climber as they come up to me. I think being there as somebody is struggling and, you know, trying to get their bearings and being right there to encourage them is a beautiful and empowering thing. We don't always send. We don't always reach our goals that day. But the people who can do that with just a little bit of grace um, or just sheer acceptance of their situation is what I is what I love. I prefer to shoot with women because I feel they're more expressive and a lot of them are just there for the fun crag day and I think that's an amazing thing that people should see. Previously, it was not a norm. It's amazing to watch a woman break into a field where we don't think where we belong, where we don't see ourselves um, in a kind of a male-dominated field. And so to watch a woman push through that and to do it in her own way, like regardless of anything of the culture surrounding it, is an incredible thing to me. We have women sending 5'8", we have women sending 514, and it's all incredible, and we should just circulate that more and more and more. Climbing impacted my life the most because it gave me self-confidence. It took me a while to come into climbing because I didn't think I belonged in this lifestyle. I didn't 
get the culture. I thought it was too cool for me. I didn't belong. I wasn't like a rugged, rugged person. And once I started climbing, I found this incredible sense of freedom, but also the sense of it's just you and the rock. You can be colorful, you can wear makeup, you can be a dirt bag, whoever you are that doesn't prevent you from climbing and whoever you are doesn't prevent you from doing whatever you want in your life.